the Swiss greet each other very much. And I picked that up as a child, and so I would just, I would just greet strangers all the time saying, Salut. And uh, that stayed with me here in Slovenia until I was, I was about five until I realized it's something that's not done here and at the same time that it's, I'm doing it in another language. My name is Marisa Popovic. I was born in Switzerland, where I have spent the first three years of my life, and then afterwards my mother returned to Slovenia, where I, or then Yugoslavia, where I actually went to school and grew up. Switzerland was different. Switzerland for me was a, a, a country of chocolate and snow and mountains and uh, I, I felt privileged uh, of having the opportunity to actually go to Switzerland or to be connected to Switzerland. I still go to Switzerland very often. I think I spend about one third a year of my, uh, of my life at least uh, in Switzerland. I always go there for my family, but uh, I also, for the past 15 years, uh, I've also uh, worked in Switzerland as a freelancer, doing various kinds of things. I, I work as a stylist, as an interior decorator and a creative director. Because I was moving or I was spending time in Switzerland and in Slovenia, I was uh, more observing of things and of people especially. It's the way I, I do a diary in a way. I was never really interested in uh, taking photos of monuments, I was interested in people. I have an affinity of taking photos of, of Balkan things. I like the way, and I don't mean it in a bad sense, but I like the way Balkan is a little stuck in time. I mean it's you know it's catching up it's 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 getting westernized but it's but it's still a little a little nostalgic. For the first time I went there I went there strictly as a guest. I was really honored. I was invited and I was treated like a unicorn. Uh, it was really, a sp I mean, it was mostly Albanians and uh, me and a friend of mine were, were the only foreigners. But I have found out about different, not just costumes, but different customs or marrying customs in Kosovo and, uh, and uh, in Albania and I want to pursue that. I was really amazed and I don't know, impressed by the way they do things and 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 what also what I was also really curious about is actually to see these these traditional people slowly kind of drifting away from tradition. I got to find out a lot about, about the Kosovars, but at the same time, I think I also could relate to them a lot because I always had the feeling that I didn't belong here, but I didn't belong there. And there was this parallel where I felt that might be happening to them as well. I mean, it's just a, it's just a blind guess, but I think that's what what made them relatable to me. Now I've seen them in Kosovo getting married. Maybe the next step of this project is getting into their homes in Switzerland. And what I think it would bring the Swiss, it would actually give them a very colorful view of a very colorful people. You know, it would also break this prejudice that, that uh, the Westerners have perhaps about the, the, the Kosovars. But the traditions and the life where they come from is so colorful and rich. And, uh, and I think that is something that the Swiss don't get a chance to see. And I think they should.